Hello, this is Matt with Modern School Bus. In this video, we are going to take a look at how to hide and unhide rows and columns in Excel. At the end of this video, we are also going to look at how to hide cells based on cell value. So this is a very useful thing for you to know how to do. And by the end of this video, you should have a pretty strong understanding of how to hide in Excel. In this video, we are looking at all of the different ways that you can hide rows, columns, and cells in Excel. So there are three different ways that we can hide. We can hide using the format option, we can hide by right clicking, or we can hide by using keyboard shortcuts. So if I want to hide a row, what I want to do is select the row that I want hidden, and then make sure I'm selected in home here. And then here you will find format, and so when I select this, there is hide and unhide right here. So if I want to hide a row, I'm going to select hide rows and you can see that row is now hidden and it works the same way with columns. So I select a column, format, hide, hide columns and now that column is hidden. Another way you can hide is by right clicking. So if I select the row that I want hidden and right click, there is an option to hide right here. And it works the same way with columns. So select the column, right click, hide. Now you can also hide by using a keyboard shortcut. And keyboard shortcut is control nine to hide rows or control zero to hide columns. So I'm gonna select a row, press control nine on my keyboard, and that is now hidden. Or if I wanna hide a column, select a column, control plus zero on my keyboard, and that column is now hidden. So those are the different ways that you can hide, but you can also hide single rows or columns, continuous rows or columns, and non-continuous rows and columns. So if I wanna hide a single row or column, it's pretty self-explanatory. You just select the one that you want hidden. But if you wanna hide multiple continuous rows, what you're gonna to wanna to do is highlight all of the rows that you want hidden. So I can click and hold and highlight and then hide multiple or you can use your keyboard. So if I select this row and hold down the shift button on my keyboard and then select to this row, it's gonna select all of them and I can hide all of those rows. So you select the column, hold down shift on your keyboard and select the column that you want selected through and it will select all of these for hiding multiple rows or columns. Now, if you have rows or columns that are non-continuous that you want hidden, you're gonna to wanna to use the control key. So I select this one and I hold down control on my keyboard and keep holding down control on your keyboard for every row that you want hidden and then you can hide. And it works the same way again with columns, control and you can hide. So that is hiding non-continuous rows using the control key. Now unhiding works a very similar way as hiding. So if I know I have a row here that I want unhidden, what I can do is I can select this range here and we can go back to this format option and unhide rows. What we can also do to unhide is use the right click method again. So I have a row here that I want unhidden so I can right click on it, unhide. Sometimes it's hard to exactly select this hidden row. So just highlighting the entire range will unhide every hidden row in that range. There's also a keyboard shortcut to unhide and that is control shift nine so I'm gonna select this range, Control Shift nine, and that will unhide hidden rows. You can also double click. So I have this hidden row here, and if I double click on that, it will unhide. So unhiding, you can do through this format option, you can do through right clicking, you can use the keyboard shortcut, Control Shift nine to unhide rows or you can double click on the hidden row or column and that will unhide it as well. Now, if you want to unhide all cells or all rows, so I'm just gonna hide a few of these 
and I'll hide a few of these. Then what I want to do is select everything. So I can either select this to select everything or press Control A on my keyboard. And then when I right click, unhide, that will unhide all columns. If I unhide over here, this will unhide all rows. So if you want to unhide everything, select everything, unhide your columns, unhide your rows. So that is all of the basic options for hiding and unhiding. Now some more advanced things. What I'm going to show you next is how to hide rows containing blank cells. So here I have this example data where I have products and I have revenue. Maybe what I want to do is I want to hide all rows where revenue is blank. So what I'm going to do is highlight this cell range and I'm going to make sure I'm in home again. And then we're going to go to this find and select option. What we want to pick from here is go to special. Here you will find an option for blanks. So I'm going to select blanks. I'm going to select OK. And then I'm just going to use the keyboard shortcut for hiding rows. So control nine. And now those rows where there were blank values in this revenue column have been hidden. So one more time, I'm going to highlight the range. We're going to find and select, go to special blanks, and then the keyboard shortcut for hiding rows, control nine, and that is hidden. Now you can also hide rows based on cell value, and this is by using filtering. So what I'm going to do here is select the uh, columns that I want filtered and you'll find the filtering options under data. So I've highlighted the columns that I want to filter and then here you will find filter. There's also a keyboard shortcut, control shift L, filter. So then you will see this filter button on the top of the column. So when I select this, then I have all of the different options here for how I can filter this data. I'm not going to spend too much time on this. I will cover filtering in more detail in a later video, but maybe what I want to do is I want to filter this so that all of the values that are less than, let's say 4,000 are hidden. So that will be my criteria that I will use for the filter is less than, let's do less than or equal to 4,000. So what I'm going to do is select this button. We're going to do a number filter less than or equal to and we're going to do 4,000 and now all of the values that were less than 4,000 that row has been hidden. So that is how you can hide rows based on cell value is use filtering. But that is it for this video. Um, I think now you should have a very good understanding of how to hide rows, columns or cells in Excel. As always, if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching the video. If you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I'm also going to place a link in the description of the video where you can subscribe to my email newsletter to get free updates and lessons sent straight to your email. Let me know if you have any questions or comments.